The second round of the negotiations between Ukraine and Russia has come to an end. We did not achieve the results we had hoped for, said Mikhailo Podolak, advisor to the head of the Ukrainian presidential office, but managed to find common ground on humanitarian corridors. Podolak specified that the ceasefire is not possible everywhere but only at those places where humanitarian corridors will be organized for the period of evacuation. The parties agreed to extend the negotiations in the near future in the third round. Volodymyr Zelensky said that he is ready to talk face to face with Vladimir Putin. The Ukrainian president said this during the meeting with the international media in Kyiv. Zelensky highlighted once again that Ukraine does not want and is not considering attacking Russia. He invited the president of the aggressor's country to sit down at the negotiations table. Energodar is under shelling. At least two civilians are known to have been injured in the evening. The mayor of Energodar, Dmitro Orlov, reported that about 100 units of Russian military vehicles entered the city. Citizens are trying to resist. People are asked to stay at home, not to go out on the streets in any case, and not to open the door for anyone. Because of the shelling, there was no water supply in the city. In some districts, the electricity disappeared. City services are now working on the emergency. Missiles hit several residential buildings. Energodar is home to Europe's largest nuclear power plant, the Zaporizhia NPP. The security service of Ukraine arrested a man involved in the missile attacks on the TV tower in Kyiv. He provided information about the war to the Russian military. In particular, he insistently agitated to bomb Kyiv TV tower in order to stop the broadcasting of Ukrainian TV channels. <laughs> As a result of shelling of the TV tower, five civilians from Kyiv were killed. The broadcasts of the central TV channels were suspended for a short period of time. Investigators of the security service of Ukraine are working with the suspect and identifying all the people involved in the shelling.